Hello Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy back with you again and I am just fresh home from the inaugural cruise on Carnival Panorama. What an amazing ship she is. So I took a ton of video, I'm going to put some together for you over the next couple of weeks or a few days hopefully. Uh, I was going to do a big one-time ship tour the whole thing but it will take forever because there's so much to show you on this ship. So I'm going to do some videos, I'm going to break it down, I'm going to do one coming up here in a minute from decks three through five, which is where all the action happens down below. We're going to do a separate one on everything on the Lido and all your food options and all that good stuff. And then I'll do another one with everything else. So we're going to do three ship tour videos, which combined will cover pretty much the whole ship. Hopefully this will help you if you have an upcoming cruise on the wonderful, beautiful, amazing Carnival Panorama. We had a brilliant time. Three days is not long enough. I can promise you that. So all that being said, Let's get right into it. Carnival Panorama, deck three through five. Here we go. So here's the Liquid Lounge where they have all the shows. They actually had comedy shows here late at night, which is pretty cool. They had a couple in the limelight and then they moved a late night one where each comedian did 15 minutes each. It was very nice, very funny. Um, not quite as big as I thought it would be, but this is at the front of the ship. You enter through deck four or deck five, but uh, that's the Liquid Lounge where all the shows are. We're going to head into the atrium area right now. We're going to see guest services on your left. And then as you pan around, you're going to see the main lobby atrium bar with the amazing LED effects you'll see there. There's the stairs going up to the next level. And we'll walk down here. And on the right-hand side around this corner, you'll see the shore excursions desk. So again, this is on deck three. Back around. You see the other side of the bar, plenty of seating around. And then coming up on the right hand side, you're going to see the Horizons restaurant. This is primarily for assigned dining. We're going to go in there and show you. There's the bar one more time. And now we're going to show you inside the Horizons restaurant. I'm not going to lie, not my favorite restaurant because I'm not a big fan of the low ceilings and there's only one level on this restaurant. I prefer the Vista, which I'll show you in a second, which is more traditional. They'll show you the menu, what you can expect that night on that board there. You can also see it on your hub though. So we're just going to do a quick walk through into the Horizon restaurant again. This is forward on deck three, right by the atrium lobby and it's for assigned dining. Uh, the times were six and eight, if I remember correctly. I know late was eight because that's what we had. But again, it's just one level. I'm not a huge fan of this uh, personally, but each to their own, as they say. Nice and clean. You see plenty of room, plenty of tables. But you're going to see in a moment in the Vista restaurant at the back of deck three and four that uh, it's much nicer, in my opinion, for what it's worth. So that's a quick pan around of the Horizon restaurant. And now I'm gonna show you the Vista restaurant. This is actually coming in from deck four at the back of the ship. And you'll see, in my opinion anyway, you'll see this is much nicer and much cleaner. It's two levels, it's a bit more airy as it were. So I'm gonna take you for a walk down the side. Again, this is on the deck four. This is mostly for anytime dining, which has become more popular these days, it appears. But look, you see down there, much more open, much nicer, much cleaner, much more inviting to me. Suffice to say, we're going back in um, January. This was from the inaugural cruise. We're going back in January and we're going to switch to anytime dining just because I prefer a restaurant. And we're also going to spend a lot of time in other restaurants. So, uh, you know, I didn't want to waste anybody's time by not showing up for dinner three or four times. And we're going to take you to the back. Again, this is all for anytime dining, the Vista restaurant at the back of deck three and four. We're on deck four right now, looking down at deck three in a second. But you'll see there's plenty of space for everybody to eat. I never notice big lines. And we're gonna show you one more pan down from up into the main area. So again, there's your Vista restaurant. So we're gonna continue down deck four after forward, 
right outside the Vista restaurant. You'll come here, you'll take a left. On the left there, you'll see the Limelight Lounge where they have the comedy shows. I couldn't get in to take any video today because they had meetings going on with the staff. But this is where they'll have the comedy. Make sure you get in there a good 20 minutes before the start. It gets really busy. As I said also, when we were on there, they did late night shows in the Liquid Lounge where each comedian did 15 minutes. Really good idea. More people could get to see them. So that's the Limelight Lounge. They do other events in there as well, but it's primarily for the comedy. We'll keep walking down here. In a moment, we're going to come up on the Heroes Bar. Also the Sports Bar, you'll see all your sporting events and everything on the TVs. It's, it's pretty similar to the Sports Bar used to be, as in what they do, but they've redesigned it as a tribute to the military, which is a great idea. You'll see there's a casino table right there because we're getting close to the casino. But they did a really nice job. Oh, here comes Jay and everybody running through from that meeting. Love Jay. She's awesome. Everybody's awesome. All the crew. So there's the uh, Heroes Bar, Heroes Lounge, aka Sports Bar as well. And we're going to keep walking down here. And on the left is where you are going to find the Carnival Kitchen. Of course, I walked right by it initially and doubled back. Oh, there it is. So you come down this little walkway here. And on the end, on the left, is Carnival Kitchen if you're doing any of the cooking classes. Something unique they're only doing right now on Carnival Panorama. They do also have the chef's table, a uh, separate room. I believe it's actually lower down on deck three, but I didn't see it on this cruise. We'll be going on it on our next cruise, so I'll be taking some video. I think it's on deck three, but I could be wrong. Didn't get to see everything as much as I could. So we're going to keep down, down here on deck four. We're going to hit the casino. Coming up right here. Nice big open casino. I will say, even though this is the smoking area, I didn't notice it being too smoky. And I'm not one that likes cigarette smoke at all. I can normally tell it from a mile away. But there's the bar there where you have all the smokers. I really didn't notice it too much. Because it is nice and open leading up to the uh, upper decks. I mean, glass windows there, but it was, it was not as um, low a ceiling in overall as some ships are. But as you'll see, there's plenty of tables, plenty of slot machines. If you're a gambler, you'll have a good time in there. And now we're going to head back out into the front area where the shops are. All the shops are on deck four and deck five, pretty much. Very different to other cruise ships I've been on. There's the liquor store. And you'll see just by looking at this, if you're used to other ships, some of the stores are very different. They did not have any shot glasses if you collect them. Just a heads up. That may change, but on this particular cruise, there were no shot glasses and they didn't say they were going to be getting any. So I don't think they carry them. They had a few magnets. But not too much in the way of souvenirs, not like they have on other ships. This is one of the stores where you can get stuff like that. But again, you'll see it's not very big. Very limited. And we'll keep going around and seeing a few other shops. There's a little stall where you can get some jewelry on the left there. And we'll just keep panning around here. And we've looped around. Now we're going to go up and show you deck five where there's a lot of action. Not that there isn't on deck four, of course. This is where you get the souvenirs right in there. So now deck five, we're coming up. From aft, sorry, from forward to aft. Some more shops. Coming up, you're going to see Cherry on top. Right there. One of the few I recognized. I don't know if they went deliberately for more high-end shops or whatever, but um, we're not big shoppers. 
but uh, I didn't really look in these too much. But as you can probably tell, there's a lot of different stores. These stairs of death, as I like to call them, be very careful going down these stairs. I'm just waiting for the first drunk person to fall down them. Not sure that was the best idea, but we did manage it to hold onto the rail. There's the atrium lobby bar, and right there is where the musicians will stand. There's some great musicians on this ship. So let's keep walking down deck five. There's some restaurants coming up. I'm gonna do a separate video where I actually go into these restaurants and I can show you what they look like, but we're just gonna pass them for now. On the left, coming up here, you have the Bonsai Teppanyaki. There's the piano bar on the right. As you can tell, this was a Christmassy cruise because the trees. There's Teppanyaki, there's two of them. Make reservations, it's very much worth it. I did it, it was awesome. And there's Bonsai Sushi. You're looking down into the casino there. And on the right is the steakhouse. Just across there, and here's the alchemy bar. So a lot of that stuff is very close together. If you go in for a nice dinner, you can have a good drink in the alchemy before you go in, which is what we did. Continuing on down deck five, on the right, you're gonna see pixels. It's obviously one of the newer ones with the face recognition. If you take your picture on your hub and save it there, it will look for any pictures taken on the ship that look like you, and you might be able to see them without having to come up here and have a look. And you can buy it all through the hub. Hub is awesome. Check my other video out on the Hub. A lot of information. That Hub is very, very good. Here is the Pig and Anchor. This was very popular. This got very crowded late at night. I took this video in, in the morning. It's about nine o'clock. Uh, so it's not too busy right now. But this area got really busy. The bar looks like it's quite big, but I, you know, I wish it was a little bit bigger for the number of people that go in there. These seats were always used. There was never free seats at the bar. But there's plenty of areas around it for sitting and eating. And one of those restaurants where you can get um, a free lunch on the barbecue or you can pay for dinner. It's not too expensive at all. Our friends did it. They loved it. Leela and Chuck. They said they have trash can nachos is one of the things they had. They said they were awesome. Recommended by them. So you can see there's plenty of seating area here. We're going to go outside and I'll show you where you can actually get the food. Most of the restaurants had an outdoor seating area. So you can see more seats here. And we're gonna walk down here and on the left, you are going to see where you get the food. Quick pan back. And then here's the service counter where you get your food from. Right there. Now I'm going to take you back to where we entered the Pig and Anchor the barbecue place and we're going to continue walking down deck five. Here we are, back to the front. We'll continue walking down here. There's some more stuff to show you. So much to see and do on this ship. Three days was not enough. Can't wait to go back on our back to back where I'll be able to see and explore everything in more detail. Coming up here on the right hand side, you're gonna see the sweet spot where you can get your coffees and your cakes and stuff like that. Um, you can tell us it's early in the morning because that's busier than everywhere else we've been so far. Uh, there's your coffee. Coming up is the what we call the Ocean Plaza where they'll do a lot of the uh, trivia and they have bands and stuff in the evening, entertainment. Right in this area here. If you walk across here, you're going to see on the right hand side, there's a small uh, buffet area. They had breakfast buffet in there. I'm not sure if they did lunch. I, I did not check that. Um, but right here, they had a breakfast buffet, a possible small lunch one. Very limited, obviously. It's not very big. But if you didn't want to go all the way up to Lido, you can grab some food there. And you'll see there's plenty of space here to sit and watch the artists and the bands. We're going to come back through. And we're not done yet. There's still more to see. They had a bar coming up on the left for the Ocean Plaza bar. And again, another outdoor area you could sit. There's the bar on the left there, and we're gonna keep walking. We are going to show you the Havana bar now.
Obviously, I couldn't get outside because I didn't have a wristband because I just had a little interior cabin on this cruise. But if you want to splurge a little bit, I've heard they're very much worth the money, especially if you want some privacy and not being too busy because you've got the private pools and everything you can sit by. But this is coming into the bar where we could get into it any time. Coming up is the area where the band plays at night. One thing I didn't see that I did see on the Vista, on the Vista they had some um, uh, like Cuban food and everything for snacks on at lunch and they, they didn't have that I saw on this ship. But that's a shame because Judy loves that stuff. But that's where the band plays and then the bar at the back here. And then you're going to see outside. There's the area I'm not allowed to because I didn't have a wristband. And there's big signs up saying, don't go out here without a wristband. But they've got private pools and everything out there. I prefer the more action. I like the Lido deck and stuff, so I probably wouldn't do this. But if you like it more mellow and quiet, great idea, I'm sure. And I'll just show you a quick spot on the other side. So this is the Havana area. The secret entrances you can get to if you have a, a room in there. You don't have to go through this way. And then one last thing I'm going to show you. This is the, what they call a lanai on deck five. There's a little bar right there. That's outside the Ocean Plaza. The door I showed you was the leading back to the Havana area, so I couldn't go in there. So again, that's where the private stuff is. But you'll see this is a nice, quiet, secluded area where you can hang out if you just want to chill. You don't want all the noise and activity on Lido. You can come down to deck five and just sit out here and relax. All the way down the side of the ship on both sides. The other side was where I showed you the, the, the pig and anchor seating area. And a bit further down from the pig and anchor there, the outside seating area for the steakhouse. This is the side that had the, uh, the outside area for the bonsai sushi, which is where we're going to end up on this video. So you'll see plenty of seating up here. And obviously there's loads on Lido. I'll show you that in a separate video. But plenty of seating on this lanai deck. Not too shabby, huh? Can't wait to go back. Did I say that already? I'll keep saying it. I can't. And we're just coming up now to the entrance for the bonsai sushi. There you go. So there you have it. Quick little tour for you. More to come. So there you have it, Cruising World. Deck three through five on the wonderful, beautiful, amazingly brilliant carnival panorama. Go, if you haven't booked one already, go. I promise you, it was a beautiful ship with so much to do. More videos coming up. I'm gonna do another one soon on the Lido and another one on everything else. So stick with it, watch the next couple, why don't ya? See you later, cruising world. Email me anytime, cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. If you're looking to book a cruise, contact the best in the fleet, David Chirinos. He is awesome. Tell him I sent you. He'll take care of you and make sure your cruise is awesome.